some of the concerns when you have and the challenges when you have a really young team like you're going to have this year? The unknown. Uh, I think just, I mean, every year has its own unique, unique set of challenges, but I think uh, it's just going to be how, how quickly we can acclimate these young players and get them ready to roll and how we come together as a team. So, but there's a lot of excitement today. With that in mind, do you approach this camp differently than maybe you would in the past? Yeah, I think there is something to that. I think every year you kind of um, think about what you want to get done out of training camp and uh, your approach. I think for for the most part, the format and your your philosophical values remain the same. But uh, you got to be aware of your personnel and and just we are we are pretty young, uh, especially on the offense side of the ball. And but like I said. There's a lot of excitement that comes along with that in terms of, I, I think we've got a lot of talented players um, and it's, you know, it's everybody's responsibility to get them to become the best version of themselves, uh, you know, sooner than later. Use players or not use players in the preseason games and how that might change from previous years? Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty fluid in, in regards to that approach. Um, we'll kind of, you know, take it one day at a time and, and really try to feel where we're at. And if it's something that we feel that uh, they, they need to play a little bit more in the preseason, then, then we'll do that. You know, it is nice that we have two different teams that we're, we're practicing against. and. You guys know my philosophy on that in terms of just that provides them, I think, more game-like experience than most practices, just the competitiveness that goes along with that and just seeing a different look and going against a, a different, you know, whether it's uh, different schemes or whatever it may be, but just a real opposition right out there. Arian Stokes made in their rehab this offseason. Do you anticipate getting one or both of them back at some point this summer? I think we're hopeful for that. Um, I think they've done an outstanding job. I think Flea and his staff have done a great job of rehabbing them and just the way they've attacked it. Uh, certainly, they, they've put the work in. It's evident. You can see it. I think they're doing really well. And uh, the whole plan the whole time, I, I believe, was just to, when they get in here, to put them on pup and we'll see how fast we can get them off. And um, provided there's no setbacks, then I would see them eventually coming off. Now, Rudy, again, back to Green Bay, okay. And your reaction when you see, you know, video of Jordan working out with guys a couple weeks ago before camp on their own time? Yeah, I, I believe everybody's here. We'll find out. We've got the conditioning test here at 10 o'clock. That'll, that'll give us a better indication of where everybody's at. But um, no, that's exciting. I think any time these guys can get together outside of the workplace, you know, is a is a huge benefit for your football team. And those guys were definitely putting the work in. And um, as a coach, that that definitely uh, gives you reason to smile. Yeah, what was your reaction just to seeing the football facility kind of reach its final you know, final process there? And what kind of resource do you think that's going to be for you and the team not going into this season? Yeah, the football facility is outstanding. I don't know if you've gotten a chance to go through it yet or not, but uh, you know, I was a little skeptical that it, it would get done in in a in a timely manner. But I'll tell you what. First of all, just you know, big thanks to Mark Murphy for allowing us to do that. I, I really believe it's going to be a much more efficient process, specifically for the coaches and players. Um, just the, the logistics of everything and how close we are in proximity. It's great to be on the first four, floor with the players. It gives us more access for them to want to come to our office instead of going up to the third floor where they feel like they're going to see the principal or, or whatever. But um, And there's so many great people that really worked hard to make it happen. You know, Joe Malcheski, um, I, I wrote everybody down so I wouldn't forget Mike Moynihan, Mike Halbach, Joe Reuter, Bill Rasmussen, Todd Edelbeck, Doug Collins, Joe McKillop. I mean, these guys went above and beyond, I think, their, their job in order for us to, to have a functional space. And I mean, it's, it's by far the best facility that I've, I've ever been in at this level. 
question, but uh, I mean, it is going to heat up this week. And have you, any consideration given to some of the air quality things that have been going on around here this summer uh, if that might bring you to practice inside at all? Yeah, if, if need be. Um, I'm less concerned about the heat. I think it's, uh, you know, we have these acclimation rules in place. I think it's going to be uh, very important for our guys to make sure they stay hydrated and doing whatever they can do so that, you know, we don't have anybody go out there and, you know, overheat or whatever. And I, I know um, our training staff and, and uh, Adam Corzin will be all over our guys in terms of making sure they're fueling and, and getting the proper hydration. But I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's part of it's part of training camp. You like it. You don't want it easy on anybody. And um, but you know, as far as the air quality, that's something that we can't control. And if they, if it's so bad that we have to go inside, we'll we'll adjust. Man, is there anything that you would like to see out of Jordan Love this summer uh, as you guys work towards the preseason? There's a lot of things I'd like to see out of him, and just it's it's more or less just you know the process of becoming better each and every day and and the command that he has and um certainly you want to give him every opportunity you you can't give him enough reps and so um but just making those incremental improvements and becoming more consistent on a daily basis and uh but i'm really excited and he's definitely uh has complete command of our offense there's no doubt about it he, he's put the work in he knows the ins and outs, and um, it's now it's going to apply that in a real situation. Um, you know, teams in a blitz, you guys have a lot with Aaron over the years. I would think you maybe would expect more of that. Do you have to talk with Joe to maybe have Joe do more pressures um, just for the sake of the offense, even if it's not for his sake, but more for the offensive sake? Yeah, I think that's those are daily conversations in terms of how do we best prepare our football team for week one? And so there will be some give and take where I'll tell them, hey, I want to see this. And conversely, if, if there's something that our defense needs to see, then he's going to tell us what, what he would like the offense to present to the defense. So that's just how you go about um, and, and, you know, preparing your football team. Do you consistently the most action total that you've given a quarterback in your, you know, tenure? I mean, is this going to be all Jordan Love as much as possible, whatever he can handle? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to go that far and say that um, because I think we still got to be mindful in terms of I don't want to wear his arm out by any stretch, and I think a lot of times you can do that in training camp. I mean, these guys are, are constantly throwing, whether it's an individual during, during our uh, WeFensive periods, obviously in, in the team settings. So we got to be mindful of that and make sure we chart how many, uh, how many throws he gets each and every day. And, um, but our guys do a great job with that. Likely to play him a significant amount in the preseason. Uh, Potentially, uh, like I said, it's going to be fluid, and we'll adjust accordingly. Safety competition in this camp. Well, you'd like to see two of the guys separate themselves, and you know, so it's so it's clear cut, and there's great competition at that position, and we feel like we've got a, a lot of capable guys, and ultimately they got to go out there and perform. Going back to Jordan quick, like has it, has it been fun for you to kind of create a new offense with a new starting quarterback in your system? I don't know how to answer that because it's really not a new offense. It's just every year there's new wrinkles, and um, but it's not. I mean, philosophically, we're we're very much the same as we've been. I think it's you know our job as a coach is always you adjust to your personnel, and and you got to try to figure out what guys are good at and what they need work at. And it's not just about Jordan, it's about everybody else. And we've got a very young receiving core, we've got a young tight end group. Um, and so it's, it's about the collective more so than just one person. Matt, you mentioned that Jordan has complete command of the offense. Do you have a feel for what type of autonomy he'll have at the line of scrimmage? Yeah, I, I think that, again, it's gonna be fluid and he just needs to, to get the reps the last thing I want to do for him is have him paralyzed thinking of too many things at the line of scrimmage. I think that takes time. It takes experience. And, you know, once he shows that, and it, it kind of happens organically 
uh, you know, throughout the process. What are your hopes for Alex Magoo? To come in and learn the playbook as quickly as possible and see what he can do. And it is a challenge a little bit to, to get four guys the adequate amount of reps, especially when you have a guy like Jordan who's we, we want to give him as many as possible. But, um, you know, Alex has attacked it the right way. He's done a nice job. We've had him here for a couple of days uh, with, with the rookies and the quarterbacks and our injured players. And um, he's really done a nice job. Earlier this summer, Aaron Jones told us that he wanted to step up more as a vocal leader. Have you seen that from your end? Absolutely. I think you saw it all off season. Uh, he is so consistent in what he what he does on a daily basis. The energy he brings. Um, he's he is a, a great leader that we have. What do you want to see from him in the next few weeks versus like the steps that you saw in the off season programs? Like, what next step do you want to see these? Well, we've never seen these guys with pads on, so I think that's going to be the ultimate test uh, just to see how these guys, how they come off the ball, um, specifically in the run game, uh, you know, because I feel like that's kind of a lost art these days for, for that position group. And um, But they're talented guys. Uh, I, I think they picked up the offense well, all things considered. And that, that is, they've got a lot to learn. I mean, that outside of the quarterback position on the offensive side of the ball, there's nobody that's involved as much in the run game and in the pass game. So they've got to, they've got to know uh, I'll, I'll, there's a lot of information that's being thrown their way, and they've got to adjust. And luckily, we've got two guys that, that work at it extremely hard. I think John Dunn does an unbelievable job with those guys. And, um, you know, I'm excited for that group. Rich, Rich has said he'd like having two, maybe three kickers. In camp at a time, do you guys anticipate adding another one at some point? Uh, we'll see. I, I think, you know, in, in regards to the personnel questions, I think those are all always good. I know you guys are going to talk to Goody here in a minute. and uh, But I think, you know, the conversation's ongoing. It's just more or less, where do we need bodies? Watson and Dobbs on offense, Walker and Wyatt on defense. What, what do you look for at, at this stage of, of the season to, to kind of know that that second year jump is, is coming? Like what, what catches your eye? I just think the way they go out there and play and just how fast and, um, you know, no hesitation when they get out on the field and um, how they can react to certain adjustments. And certainly that's something that we're going to need from, from all those guys. Back to Alex. I mean, this is a guy that hasn't played in the NFL, but he's coming off an MVP season with the USFL. Do you consider him like a veteran in that room, or or another young guy that's sort of fighting for the spot? Like, how do you view him fitting into that unit? Well, I think it'd be unfair to consider him a veteran. He just got here a couple days ago, and you know, there's there's a lot of offense to learn. So. I think it's going to be it's going to be a pretty fluid situation in terms of who we think can best back up Jordan, and um, hopefully we can get him the ad adequate number of reps to showcase his skill set. Do you think you've um, gotten a sense of what Jordan is really good at and what he likes? You know, like the type of plays you went through years of going through that with Aaron every week. Uh, you know, learning what he was really good at, what he liked. Well, are you there where, yet with Jordan? Is that going to be a process through the year? I think that's going to be a process. I, I just don't think he's got the, the number of reps with certain concepts uh, this point in his career. And I think that, that takes a long time to do. And certainly we want him to be excited about every play. And throughout the course of this process, there's going to be some plays where he may not have the comfort level with yet. Or conversely, the, the guys around him might not. Um, have the, the level of comfort. So it's going to be pretty fluid in regards to what we like, what we don't like. I just want all these guys to attack it with, you know, great enthusiasm and, you know, be open-minded throughout, throughout the process and, and just strive to get better, just those incremental improvements. On the offensive line, is, is it just right tackle that's up for grabs? Is there, I know we, like Luke talked about center. Um, at least when we were there, we didn't really see a competition during, during the offseason. So I guess how do you see that group? Well, I, I hate to pencil anybody in day one. And certainly there are guys that we're pretty confident that are going to start. But, I mean, we're always constantly 
preaching competition. And we want these guys to push one another. And ultimately, it's our job to find the best five to go out there and give us the best chance to win. You mentioned about the old office. It's like you're going up to the principal's office. But now that you've you know, got this great new facility, you know, I watch you during the season, during warm-ups, touch, you know, connect with guys, just say, how's it going? Because your days are so busy, you're trying to get them out of here. But you know, is, are there times where you try and connect with those guys one-on-one -on -one just to see how they are when they come into a season, with, whether it's your veterans or a new guy that's, that's come to the team? Yeah, I think it's, you, you know, you've got to be um, very mindful of how you go about that process. I think there's there's only so many hours in the day, and certainly we've got limitations in how long we can keep these guys. But any opportunity you get a chance to connect with your players, I think it's it's very very important, um, you know, in order to get the most out of them. Two more, please. Matt, did you take things out of the offense this off season? Were there things that you just said, okay, that's more Aaron based, and and we'll just get back to some of the things that. You know, you do in your offense that's more traditional. Were there like that? Well, I think that's that's ongoing each and every year, and and certainly you got to follow some of the trends within the league, and you want to stay in front of those, quite frankly. Um, and you study other teams, and you add some things, and some wrinkles, and um, but ultimately, it's it's how it it all comes together, and how we have plays that play off of plays. I think. When you look at the best offenses in the league, they, they present that challenge to a defense in regards to keeping them a little bit off balance. You, you present a look, and you might run one play and then run the counter to that. So, uh, But that's the challenge every week, every year, every game. You talked at the start of this about the unknowns. Just from a personal level, how different does this training camp feel than maybe the past few? And does it change the way you kind of approach your attack? Yeah, it feels like year one, <laughs> quite frankly. Uh, it, it, it feels like, you know, we're, we're right back where we started when, when I first got hired here, and that's exciting. I think there's a lot of excitement that goes along with that, and we're going to coach these guys hard, and we expect them to show up with a great attitude every day and give everything they can.